Rows and rows, usually dedicated to die-hard sports fans. Today, filled with 10,000 proud friends and family of our freshest police recruits. My father stood where you stood decades ago. He would be very proud to look upon you today. You will find no more noble service than what you're un undertaking here. For which is certainly the proudest day in my policing career. This has been a tough year for everyone in New South Wales. In a normal year, aspiring officers would have been based at the Police Academy in Goulburn for 32 weeks. But nothing was normal about 2020. The new graduates studied just as hard, but remotely, after an intensive crash course. It has been such a difficult year, um, just juggling work life. They cut our course down to eight weeks, um, so that was a real, a real challenge in itself. Today, all the hard work paid off. Uh, today was just something I have dreamt of for many, many years. My grandfather was in the field for 40 years um, and growing up he was a major inspiration. Today, 189 probationary constables of Class 344 were sworn in here at the SCG. But on the ground, they were joined by the classes of 340, 341, 342 and 343 who didn't get to have their full ceremony during COVID restrictions. You will stand in the places where our community fractures and breaks. You will see and hear and feel things and experience things that those of us who do not wear that uniform never will. Among those being celebrated were Police Commissioner Mick Fuller's daughter Brittany and Deputy Prime Minister Michael McCormack's son Nick. My oldest daughter Brittany uh, made a decision about 18 months ago that she wanted to follow me into policing, the first of my four children to make that decision and, and I was proud and I certainly never pushed her one way or the other. I think young people have to make up their own minds uh, and she's been out now this year and, and absolutely loves policing. I'm not here as Deputy Prime Minister, I'm here as uh, Dad and uh, my son Nick has uh, graduated. Youngest son, uh, very, very proud of him. He's always been somebody too who would, who would run to help a situation, whereas many would run the other way. 2020 has been one of the most testing years for our police men and women. Not only were they fighting crime, officers were assisting on the ground during the bushfires and policing various operations throughout the pandemic. New South Wales would not have survived the last 12 to 18 months if it was not for each and every single man and woman of the New South Wales Police Force. Setting up hotel quarantine for 100,000 Australians, you know, we're essentially running a, a, you know, a, a business repatriating people, feeding them millions of meals. We're taking the borders, border operations, we're in the snow, we're in 40 degree heat. The celebration today, an opportunity for them to let their hair down. This is just what the doctor ordered and nobody would begrudge the New South Wales Police Force for, for enjoying a bit of pomp and ceremony uh, after the 18 months that they've gone through. Oh, it's made it so worthwhile. Throwing that cap in the air was just amazing, something I think dreams are made of, really. Charlotte Mortlock, Sky News, Sydney.